destiny's burden weighs heavily on Cloud's giant sword. He travels in search of his crystal together with Firion, Cecil, and Titus. But his eyes always gaze out to the distance, searching for what awaits at the end of his struggles. If he obtains his shimmering crystal, will he be able to cast a light on the shadows hiding within? Well, any clues on the crystal? No. Nothing. So these crystals can save the world, huh? I wonder how we're supposed to find them. We probably have to fight more. Just defeat every enemy we encounter. Don't know if we should be running into battle without knowing what's going on. After all, most people can't win every fight. I guess we gotta rest up sometime. Hmm. There is some truth to that. Hmm. It's good to have you with us, Cloud. You've the sense to think things through. You can learn something, Cecil. Look who's talking. <laughs> 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 Guess we all need some of that sense. Sense? No. That's not it. I'm just... Can somebody tell me what the heck these crystals are, anyway? Once we obtain them, will we be able to defeat Chaos? If that is what Cosmos wishes, it is up to us to fulfill it. But what are we... What exactly are we fighting for? What do you mean? Isn't it to defeat Chaos? And bring back peace to the world? Cosmos only said... that we had to get the crystals. There's no guarantee that defeating Chaos will bring peace. Nobody knows for sure what's gonna happen to the world. I think we just have to keep faith. We don't need to know much in order to fight, do we? I just... need some convincing. I don't want to find myself swept into more battles without knowing why I'm there. Cloud. Can any of you guys tell me? If there's a good reason to be here fighting, I want to hear it. A reason to fight? I suppose I've never thought about that before. I'm settling things with my old man. But that's a personal issue. I know. Good for you, Titus. <sighs> Could you give me some time? I want to come up with an answer. 
that would convince you. I've been thinking about why we have to fight, but I'm finding it difficult to put into words. I see. There is one thing I came up with, convincing or not. What's that? The Wild Rose. There's something I've been longing to see. That's the reason I want to end this conflict. <laughs> of course. That's all just still a dream. A dream? Yes. It's a dream I can't give up on. That's the reason I can keep fighting. Firion. Will you fight me? What? I want to know. I have to know if that dream is really strong enough. Strong enough to keep you fighting. But, Cloud... <laughs> Understood. I'll take you on. It's not... over yet! <laughs> Not bad at all. Like I said, I won't give up on my dream. Yeah, but I can't be like you. Why not? I've looked, but I'm still empty-handed. And without a dream, what do you suppose I should do? <laughs> Sorry. Didn't mean to confuse you. Maybe what I'm looking for isn't here. Cloud. Did Firion give you his answer? Yeah. He says he has a dream. And that he'll keep fighting until he can make it come true. Sounds like Firion, sure enough. He told you? Yes, although he was embarrassed at first. He says he wants to create a world where wild roses grow in perpetual peace. Sounds so... childlike. Honest men have honest dreams. Maybe he wished it on a star. What about you, Cecil? I don't think I can give you the kind of answer you're looking for. But perhaps there is someone somewhere with an answer. Why not go and look for it? But I... You should go, Cloud. You too? We're rooting for you. You really don't mind? Hmm. 
Just one thing. When you find your answer, you come and tell us what it is. Got it. That's a promise. Good to see you, Cloud. Sephiroth. <laughs> Why won't you take up your sword? Fighting you would be meaningless. I'm tired of taking part in pointless battles. Then if you had a reason, you would fight anyone? No. All I want is to believe in why I fight. Hm. Nothing but a puppet. What? Then let me give you a reason. A dream is easy to nip in the bud. How pitiful to live life hanging on to something this fragile. Virian's wild rose. <laughs> no. What have you done to them? So now you have your reason. Come after me. I knew you'd come. You always do as you're told. Don't you? What? You look for a reason. Because you don't want to be swept into a fight. <laughs> but all you do is look. You do nothing to follow that desire. That is why you are so eager to make someone else's reason your own. What's your point? Your companions could get hurt, yet they'd still have the will to continue their search. But what about you? You're nothing but a puppet that gets swept away, unable to make any decisions on its own. You're wrong. I just... So, I'll continue to provide you with a reason. Every time you need one. Shut up! I've had enough of being told what to fight for. I came here of my own will. All you've ever wanted was to cling to old memories. You're the one who can't let go. Sephiroth! It ends here. Go back to sleep. Accept it. <laughs> I am the one who guides you, forever. <laughs> if it's despair you want, then I shall provide. What I want most, I'll find myself. You're nothing but a puppet.
This is it. The crystal. It is also what you most despise. Take it, and you will be doomed to further conflicts and never know why. So be it. If that's my destiny. I live in my reality. Not yours. <laughs> Very well. Every time your eyes gaze upon it, remember, you were only able to obtain it with my guidance. And I will continue to pull your strings. I decide my own path. Even if I have my doubts, I have to find my own answer and tell my friends, like I promised. Until then, I'll keep fighting. All shall bear fruit in due time. The ultimate mortal conflict. As well as the absolute end of the world. Perhaps the only thing that is out of our reach is the whimsy of the gods. <laughs> 